So distribution identified a need for additional capacity in the area south of downtown Minneapolis um, several years ago. So that demand is what warranted the project and the reason that Excel moved forward with the Hiawatha project. That's where substation and transmission comes in. You know, they need to build additional substations to serve the area. In working in a really densely populated area and with the particular considerations of this area of Minneapolis, we ended up needing to consider underground construction. The largest challenge was crossing Highway 55. It was a joint project between distribution and transmission to get all of the duck bank across the road, work with the city and MnDOT to allow us to do that 10-day project. The most feasible approach was to cross Highway 55 in an open cut situation. So that was a complete closure of Highway 55. XL had dedicated construction resources working around the clock to ensure that we met that 10-day closure and uh, were able to cross Highway 55 and then extend the transmission project down 28th Street through commercial, residential, and uh, past Abbott Northwestern Hospital and ultimately to the Midtown substation. The community was involved in the process of planning the design and they met with the architectural team and told them what they were interested and ultimately um, a community committee um, supported the design. We worked with this advisory group really on the aesthetics of the project and of trying to create a different look to the substations that would fit in well with the, with the neighborhood. Well, the primary involvement was on the sourcing side uh, for supply chain in this particular project. It was really on this work that was done at the substations and along the line for the aesthetic walls that, uh, that was new and different and really required that, that extra level of collaboration. The structures, the lightning rods, etc., we felt like were too big to try to, to stick behind a precast wall. Can we create a wall, an enclosure, that not only uh, screens the, the station but also reveals it? Anytime you can transform a program or a building into something that just brings value into the community, that's a, that's a good candidate for a design award. I think they did a fabulous job of taking the problem and solving it, and they listened to the community. They did a fabulous job listening to the community. They really deserve the AIA award for this project. I would definitely say this project was successful. The importance of, of early partnering and early collaboration is probably the, the, the key thing to, to let people know. It, it really laid a great foundation of how we need to do and can do these urban projects, not just here in Minneapolis, but all across our service territory. <laughs>